Hey guys, we're uh, here to uh, fix this forklift. It has been uh, popping a fuse every time you start it for quite a while. Um, haven't owned this forklift very long, but it uh, keeps on popping a fuse every time you start it. So I'm going to try to find the short wherever it is and fix it up so we can stop having to replace fuses. So uh, we're going to take off a couple panels, look for a broken wire, and go from there. traced is it uh, goes from that little solenoid over to the coil here and it grabs power at the coil and there is no brakes from there from the coil to the uh, to the solenoid so now we're tracing the wire that goes from the solenoid or from the coil up front to where the fuse is and we're going to see if there's any breaks in it there. So what you just saw me take off is uh, for the lights that no longer exist, uh, they were broken off or whatever. So I, uh, there was a broken wire on that. So I eliminated the whole thing um, since we're not gonna be using that. So that way that eliminates one problem that it potentially could be.
we just figured out is this fuse is the main power that's going to the on off key switch. Um, so that could be one of the issues also. So there could be a lot of different things right now. Uh, we're just gonna keep on troubleshooting and try to figure this out. tape that one up. Uh, if I can't figure this out, I'll end up just rewiring this um, and seeing if that'll fix it. All right, I got that all taped up. Now I got to go and run and grab uh, some fuses and see if that fixed it or not. All right, guys, we're back from the store. We got some fuses right here. I also decided while I was there, I was gonna buy a new uh, key switch, just in case maybe something's malfunctioning in the key switch. I haven't decided if that's going to be the uh, solution or not. The other thing that has went bad on this thing is the uh, starter is starting to uh, not kick the Bendix out far enough. Luckily this is an external one and I am able to manually push it in. So uh, all I do is turn the key on like it is, turn on the propane. Come over here and push in the Bendix. A lot of times when it would blow, it would uh, blow after it was running and you would turn the key off. So we're gonna see if it's blown. And it looks good yet. So hopefully, taping up a couple of these wires, eliminating that light switch, maybe did it. We'll put everything back together and hopefully it is fixed. guys uh, everything's back together um, and I guess we'll try this a couple more times see if it uh, pops and go from there
it seems like it's working now. I'm gonna leave it alone now and uh, then uh, see how it is for the next few uh, times that we go out and need to use it when we're loading our salt and hopefully it's all fixed. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. Um, I can do more videos like this. Um, I can do more plow videos. Once it uh, becomes spring and summer, I can do lawn videos, uh, mulch installs and landscaping projects and all that stuff. But uh, just let me know what type of videos you would like to see me do uh, during the winter. Like I said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.